Next is infinite series. Infinite series is a sum of the infinite number of terms. Let them a1, a2, a3, a4, etc. be a sequence. So, this sequence I can write a n. n equal to 1 to infinity is a sequence. Then the sum of these terms, these infinitely many terms is called infinite series. That means a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus etc. Infinitely many. This sum is called infinite series. This sum usually denoted by summation ai, i equal to 1 to infinity. So each of the terms is called terms. Each of the term in the series is called terms. A1 is a term of series. A2 is other term. A2 is second term. So ai is ith term of the series. Okay, this is the series. Series is an infinite sum of the terms. In sum of infinite numbers or infinite terms is called infinite series. Next is partial sum. Sequence of partial sum. So, we have some infinite series i equal to 1 to infinity a i be a infinite series. So, in this series, we take a particular n term and some of the first n terms is called a particular first two n terms. We can take four terms. We can take five terms. We can take a hundred terms. We can take a thousand terms. So, first n terms we take. And some of the first n term is called a1 plus a2 plus etc. a n. First n term is called partial sum of particular series, given series. Partial sum of given series. So we have a series, infinite series. Then we take first sum of first n terms is called <coughs> sequence of partial sum. So some of the examples I will give. Example 1. Consider the series summation ai, i equal to 1 to infinity, where ai equal to 1 by 2 power i minus 1. So, you can find the partial sum. Okay, first of all, we can write what is the series. Series is summation ai, that is equal to 1 by 2 power 1 minus 1, plus 1 by 2 power 2 minus 1. i equal to 1 to infinity. So, i equal to 1, 2 power 1 minus 1. i equal to 2, 2 power 2 minus 1. i equal to 3, 1 by 2, 2 minus 1. Etc. nth term is 2 power n minus 1. Plus etc. Here is, is infinite series. Here is not ending continuously. So, this is the series. So, we can conveniently, we can write it as 1 by 2 minus 1 is 1 plus 3 minus 1 is 1 by 2 plus 8 minus 1 is sorry, sorry, 2 power i minus 1 power lang i minus 1. Okay.
so 2 power 1 minus 1 2 power 2 minus 1 2 power 3 minus 1 2 power n minus 1 so we got uh, We can write 1 by 2 power 0 plus 1 by 2 power 1 plus 1 by 2 power 2 plus etc. 1 by 2 power n minus 1 plus etc. So we can conveniently we can write this series is 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square plus etc. 1 by 2 power n minus 1 is not ending continuously. This is the given infinite series. So, we needed to find Sn partial sum, n partial sum. So, we can write 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square plus etc. 1 by 2 power n minus 1 and the term is 1 by 2 power n minus 1. So, this is the geometric series. So, we know geometric series sum is a minus r power n by 1 minus r. So, 1 minus 1 by 2 power n by 1 minus 1 by 2. So, we can write 1 minus 1 by 2 power n by 1 by 2. So, we can write 2 minus 1 by 2 power n into 2. So that is equal to 2 minus 1 by 2 power n minus 1. So this is the n partial sum Sn equal to 2 minus 1 by 2 power n. This is the partial sum, n partial sum of given series. Next example is <coughs> summation Ai. In a i equal to minus 1 power k. So we can write a i equal to k equal to i equal to 1 a i equal to minus 1 power i. So we can write minus 1 a 1 equal to minus 1 power 1, a2 equal to minus 1 power 2, a3 equal to minus 1 power cube. So, first a1 is minus 1, a2 is 1, a3 is minus 1. So, odd terms are minus 1 and even terms are 1. So, we can write the series summation ai equal to minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 etc. That is you can write minus 1 if i is odd and 1 if i is even. So we can write the series minus 1 1 plus minus 1 plus 1 etc. So this is the series. Next partial sum is s n minus 1 minus 1 minus etc. So partial sum of n term is minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 etc. 1 or minus 1. So a n is even if n even this partial sum is ending with the n. Plus n. Okay. So minus 1, 1 that is 0, minus 1, 1 that is 0, minus 1, 1 that is 0. So we can each numbers we can pair it. So we got 0. So Sn equal to 0. In the case of n is even, Sn equal to 0. Next, if n is odd. Sn can be written as minus 1 plus 1 plus minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 
plus 1 etc minus 1. So plus 1 minus 1. So we can pay our minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 etc minus 1 plus 1. So ending with minus 1. So minus 1 is alone. So we can write all others are 0. We got minus 1. So n is odd. The partial sum is minus 1. So we can write Sn equal to minus 1 if n is odd. 0 n is even. So, this is the partial sum of given infinite series. Okay. One more example I will give. Write down the First four partial sum of given series. So one plus one by seven plus one by seven square plus one by seven cube plus etc. This is one series. So we can write. So, this can be generally we can write summation 1 by 7 here first term is 7 power 0. So, uh, n equal to 1 to infinity 7 power n minus 1. Okay. So, s n equal to s 1 equal to 1 by 7 power 1 minus 1. That is equal to 1. s 2 equal to 1 plus 1 by 7 power 2 minus 1. That is equal to 8 by 7. S3 equal to 1 plus 1 by 7 plus 1 by 7 square. That is equal to 8 by 7 plus 1 by 7 square. Uh, that is equal to 57 by 7. That is equal to 57 by 14 by n. So, S3 is 57 by 14 by n. Next, S4 equal to 1 plus 1 by 7 plus 1 by 7 cube plus 1 by 7 raised to 4. That is equal to these three sum we know 57 by 14 by n plus 1 by 7 cube. 7 square. Here 7 cube. So, that can be written as 7 cube. So, 57 into 7 plus 1. That is equal to 400 by 7 cube. So, we got 4 partial sums. So, Sn can be written as, N partial sum can be written as 1 plus 1 by 7 plus 1 by 7 square plus etc. 1 by 7 power N minus 1. Okay. Similarly, you can do it. 1 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4. You can find the first two, 4 partial sums. Similarly, summation n by 3 power n. These two problems are, you do it. You can find the first 4 partial sums. Okay. So, you studied, now you studied what is an infinite series and what is a partial sum of infinite series.